Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So today we are actually doing the second, the second round of Battle of the Brands. And today we're going to be testing out a $34 concealer versus a $3 concealer. This is the YSL All Hours Concealer. And this is in shade number six versus my usual, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. We did it half and half, just like last time. The YSL Pro Concealer is on the right side and the LA Girl Pro Concealer is on the left side. We're going to be doing a 15 hour wear test on this look, so you'll be following me throughout the day. We'll see if it's really worth spending $34 on this concealer or if you can get the exact same look with a three to four dollar concealer. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the video, but before we do that, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Do subscribe, it does help my channel. We wanna grow and expand the fam, but also, Give me a thumbs up, it does help to spread the word and to push my content out there so that others can enjoy the footage you're enjoying as well. I will see you guys soon. Oh, I can't, I can't deal with dry skin. So, what I'm gonna go ahead today and do is go with the Fenty Foundations. I'm gonna do my, my base off camera and then come back on and then we'll try out the concealers, all right? Okay, great, so now we are done with that phase. We're gonna go in with the concealers now. So, the two concealers that we are battling today are the new YSL All Hours Concealer in the darkest shade that they do have, number six as well as the LA Girl Pro Concealers in the shades Toast and Fawn. So the first one that we are going to be looking at, let me just read the description on Sephora just so we can get an idea of what it is supposed to do exactly. First off, this concealer only comes in six shades. So this is the YSL All Hours Concealer. It comes in six shades and this concealer is $34. So this is described as a full coverage concealer. It is for sensitive, normal, dry combination, oily, for every type of skin, everybody's skin, okay? And the finish is matte. It's a new 16 hour wear, full coverage concealer that instantly and completely covers skin's imperfections, yet does not crease, crack, or look masky. 16 hour formula won't cake, crease, or fade, nor will it accentuate the look of fine lines and wrinkles. The highly concentrated, flexible pigments move with you to improve a highly workable and blendable texture that stands up to makeup meltdowns and resists fading, heat, humidity, blah, 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 blah. No touch-ups required. I'm gonna do the right side of my face with the All Hours Concealer, and the left side of my face will be the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So let me read what the LA Girl Pro Concealers are about. It is crease resistant with opaque coverage in a creamy yet lightweight texture. The long wearing formula camouflages darkness under the eyes, redness, and skin imperfections provides complete natural coverage even skin tone covers circles and minimizes blah 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 okay basically they're both claiming that they are long wearing formulas and that they cover darkness and that they cover imperfections and that they don't crease oh hello skin <laughs> so on the right side of my face i'm gonna have the ysl concealer so let's go ahead um i'm gonna be blending this out with you guys see how light that is and this is the darkest shade. This is ridiculous. Why do they do stuff like this? Why do, I don't understand. This is really light. I'm gonna pat in. So I will say it, it's a nice formula, but I don't necessarily know if I'm crazy about the fact that it's so quick drying. I don't usually like stuff like that. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my eyelids here. So it looks nice. I'm glad I decided to use a beauty blender for this to kind of take away some of the, um, take away how light it was, cause damn. Now the shade I usually go in with in the LA Girl Pro Concealers is the shade Toast. Okay. Definitely not as bright as the 
uh, YSL concealer. So this is on my left side. So I'm gonna flip the beauty blender over, okay? And I'm gonna use this side to do this. And I feel like the color payoff with the LA Girl Pro concealers is definitely a lot more, like significantly more, because it's a creamier consistency. And the YSL concealer is definitely more on the liquid side. So if you do choose to use a beauty blender with the YSL one, you might just be wasting your product. I would recommend trying to use a brush instead or tapping it in with your fingers um, just because a beauty blender will literally just eat away all the product on your skin. I'm not gonna, I thought I was gonna use Fawn, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna use it with Toast, whatever, it's, it's, it'll be fine. With my forehead concealer up until right here will be Elego Pro Concealer. I just went ahead and I put the YSL concealer on this side. Now I'm just going to blend them both out. Hold on, I gotta do the bridge here. I'm gonna just do this part as the YSL because I know how the other one will perform. And we're gonna go ahead and just blend this in. Blend this in. I'm gonna use the bottom actually to do. Okay, I'm going in and the center of my nose. I am going to be setting both of these concealers with the Ben Nye Neutral Setting Powder. You know, this is my favorite. And I'm just gonna go in and set. These are supposed to be creaseless, but as you know, I have trust issues with everything. <laughs> and I'm just patting this underneath my eyes. Okay, so while my uh, concealer is setting, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the rest of my face and then come back on camera and we're gonna close it out and then we're gonna do our 15 hour wear test. I did a really neutral look. I'm not even gonna wear lashes today um, just so we can get this pushing. All right, so I will see you guys very soon. So it's noon. I've had this concealer on for a while, like three hours now, three hours. And so we're just checking in. Everything looks pretty good. What do you think, Abigail? Yeah. This is Abigail, one of my coworkers. Hello, hello. hello. So what do you think of the concealer? Uh, which side looks better first? Let me ask you that. Your left side. You think my left side looks better? Yeah. This side? Wow. Right she thinks the $3 concealer looks better than the 34 So it's underneath my eyes. Yeah. And you think the left side. OK, so she thinks this left side is winning out. OK. What do you think? Which side do you think looks better? The left side or the right side? Like this. The right side. This yes. side here? Yeah. So you think the left side looks better? Actually, no. This, the, the left. The left side has a more of a pop and a shine. Okay, so she likes my right side. So yeah, I just like the glow that's on this, this side. side. No, I'm looking, look, just look at my concealer. Just my concealer. Both of them are concealed. <laughs> okay, so it's currently 5.51. We can definitely see some shine pulling through here, but that's normal there. On this side, I, however, I do feel like there's a lot... I feel like there's a lot more shine. You can see right here in this corner here. Um, I haven't touched up on either side of my face, so I, that I will say. There have been no touch-ups yet, so we'll see how this goes. I'm trying to see. So I can say that both of them actually held up really well. Which just goes to show, like, you know, you could probably just get the exact same result. The exact same result of a $34 foundation with a $3 foundation. To be honest, if I'm being very honest, it does seem drier on this side than it does on this side. You can see oils and everything it's breaking it's kind of breaking up on this side too so it looks like the LA Girl Pro concealer actually held up a lot longer than the YSL concealer so there you have it the battle of the brands this one definitely goes to the LA Girl Pro concealer that three bucks is worth your money it's money well spent so definitely go with that one thank you so very much for watching the video let me know what did you guys think with now seeing the results of this video will you guys be giving the YSL concealer a try 
or will y'all be sticking with a four dollar concealer let me know and let me know what other videos you would like to see in terms of battle of the brands i really appreciate you guys stopping by i hope to see you in my next video stay blessed and stay golden